Hey, ¿qué pasa, Calexico? Welcome back to the podcast. Um, like always, before we begin, I want to thank uh, a couple of people. I want to thank my anchor sponsors. I want to thank Jake and Sergio. Thank you guys for sponsoring the podcast. I also want to thank David Gastelum. Um, if you're thinking of buying or selling a home in the Imperial or San Diego counties, make sure you contact David. His number is 760-235-9576. He's got over two, 20 years of experience. And um, yeah, he'll help you uh, find your dream home. So make sure you contact David, 760-235-9576. can also find him on Facebook. Just look for his name, David Gastelum. I um, also want to thank um, everybody out there in the front lines, you know, our nurses, doctors, police department, fire department, grocery uh, employees like a stock, people that stock our gro- uh, grocery stores, our pharmacists, and everybody out there that's working. Um, I know it's hard and, and, and it's not safe, but you guys are, you know, out there to help us, you know, keep a normal life as much as we can. Thank you guys so much. I um, also want to thank my friend David Varela um, from Starts With Arts. Um, he's been doing fundraisers to um, buy PPE for you know people in need out here in the Valley. So make sure to follow Starts With Arts on Instagram to see how you can help them. Um, and yeah, today um, we have two uh, class of 2019 graduates. I have Samantha Viña and Ms. Mariela Padilla. Thank you, ladies, for being on. Thank you. Um, I reached out to um, Sammy and, and Mariela because I wanted to um, talk to them about, you know, their first year um, away for school, university. Um, Sammy went to UCSD and Mariela went to UC Davis. And um, unfortunately, you know, well, before we get into the whole, you know, COVID and all that happening, um just wanted to see how you guys decided on which school to go um, before going away to school. Do you want to go, Samantha, or do I go? Oh, I can go first. <laughs> um, let's see. I chose UCSD because it was, like, the campus I liked most or, like, I felt most at home. And I just, like, liked how the campus was, like, the landscape of it mostly. Um, but I also got into Davis, but when I went, I don't know, I just felt like out of place. So like, I really liked UCSD, but yeah, UCSD, love them, go Tridents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, pretty much like Santa said, <laughs> go Aggies. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, no, yeah, I really like Davis, despite it being super far from home. I also felt really at home. Like, I love being on my bike. It's probably, like, what I miss the most because Davis is, like, the only UC campus that is completely flat. So everyone's always on their bikes. It's also, like, I think the largest campus. So everyone's always on their bikes. It's super, like, nature and I love that. Like, the only downside is that there's no beach. But, you know, it's still really fun. And... Yeah, I love Davis. <laughs> um, so in terms of academics, so was was it hard for you guys? I know, I mean, you guys were super responsible and and really good students here in Calexico. But was it any big difference between high school and you know university? Mm, I just think that it depends on the person, or like the classes are just hard. If, you don't like keep up with the work but I mean it's because the professors have like a I don't know each professor is different I guess and there's like some classes where I struggled with because like writing classes mostly like I don't think wait okay never mind um (laughs) oh no Jose am I messing up your podcast (laughs) um but yeah it just depends on the person but I like college a lot better than high school like are the routines there much better um but yeah and Mariela you have anything to add <laughs> yeah I agree with Samantha I feel like um high school classes like AP classes are what prepared me most it's like the closest you'll ever get to like a college class because the workload is very similar but it's just different because in college it's like you get up at 9 a.m and you go to a class and then you come back for like three hours and then you're like okay wait now I need to go back and it's just like it's not like you're there all day long. Like you could go back and forth from your dorm. So that's like super different and it's kind of hard to manage your time 
So I think that's like the biggest difference. But if you take AP classes, then it's like the workload is very similar. Do you think that it was hard to, you know, focus being away from home, you know, no parents, um, meeting new people, you know, going new places to go, like just even around campus? I'm, I bet it's like something that even in this time you were there, you didn't get to you know, experience everything that's on your campus? Was it hard for you to, you know, manage your time to do classwork and still experience, you know, live that university experience? Yeah, like for me, I found that at times on Sundays, I would be drowning in work because I would be trying to do everything for the up that was due the upcoming week. But then towards the end, well, like, we're still doing it, you know, but towards the end of me being at Davis, I like would try to do my work from Mondays through Thursdays and then Friday, Saturday and Sunday, like have it completely off to do whatever I wanted to do. But yeah, that that was like my strategy, but it took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I think it also depends like on, like what days you have your classes. Like I one quarter, I didn't have classes on Fridays, so I would kind of focus to do my homework on that day and then to have like the weekend free. So it just depends on like how long your classes are and like how much work they assign. But yeah, it's like, I like it. So um, how far along were you? Cause you, I, you mentioned quarters. How far along, far along were you on your first year before, you know, all this thing happened? We were in finals week. Yeah, finals of our second quarter. It was, it was that last week they were like, okay, well you can either take your finals online from like your dorm or you can come and take it in class. Like it's still, you could still go to class if you wanted to. But yeah, like one of my, some, I think like two of my classes even like canceled the final. They're like, you know, we're just going to give you like the points, like don't even, like it doesn't matter. So I think a lot of, at that point, everyone was just kind of like, eh, like giving up in a way. But yeah, it was like a weird time for sure. And then it was like raining in San Diego. So it was just like, felt really weird. Like everything transitioning online. Yeah, I remember it was cloudy here too. Like those those days when, you know, everything stopped, when everybody's like, oh, you know, go home. So like for me, like it was uh, like the seven, 16, 17. I remember that week, like most of the week was kind of cloudy and like raining a couple of days. So like, yeah, even that, um, like the weather kind of like made it even a little bit more... Yeah, I, like, brought down the mood for sure. Yeah. And the people were like, oh, I'm leaving. And, like, classes were starting to uh, be online. Okay. <laughs> um, do you guys have any any friends or classmates that were from the area that still stayed, like, around campus? Um, One of my one of my best friends and my, my roommate last year, and she's going to be my roommate next year, she lives, like, 40 minutes away, but she just decided to go back home. So, yeah. yeah, I don't know anybody that, like, stayed on campus. Like, everybody went home. Well, I'm assuming, like, they didn't let people stay on campus, right? Or uh, I think they did, Um, but everyone was moved to, like, single rooms. Yeah, at, at my school, you had the option. Like, I know I asked a girl today, I was like, hey, can you go check to see if my bike is still there? Like, I don't know if it's gone. Then she told me it's still there. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Have you guys talked to any of your you know, friends from that are graduating this year? Um, yeah, Monique. I always talk to Monique. I know for her, she told me it's super difficult because she's like, how did you find a roommate like going into college? And I'm like, oh, well, I met her at orientation. And then my other roommate I already knew from high school. And she's like, well, yeah, but like, I'm not going to get to go to orientation. So I don't know how I'm supposed to meet people. And so she's been struggling through that. But I just told her to like, look on Instagram pages and see who's looking for roommates and just try to like talk to those kind of people. Yeah, like it's totally doable to find roommates online because that's where like I found my third roommate. But yeah, it's going to be a totally different transition for the seniors right now. To yeah. Um, oh, what was, oh, I forgot what I was going to ask you. It was something to do with that. Oh, have you guys heard anything about, you know, next year? Like, or summer or anything like when you guys are allowed to come back mm, there's I, been or for uc davis there hasn't been an official statement put out but they put out an instagram story the other day that said they're anticipating for us to go back and that they will have like online 
classes for people who are scared to go back or like I, I think they're willing to accommodate to people but it's still not official um and going back to you know this year's seniors um you know i've been talking to to several teachers these, these past couple of weeks and something that they all um kind of agree on is that you know this experience is kind of like helping them um be a little bit more um responsible because you know they're going they have to go online uh, like for instance go to a classroom and you know do school work do you feel that you know it's something that could prepare them for something in the future in terms of you know being responsible and logging in and turning in stuff without having a teacher every day you know remind you about it yeah definitely because like oh the classes that you see do they work through canvas so that's like where you turn in your work and like where you watch lectures if you like had didn't go so yeah like definitely it's a it'll help them a lot um like right now our quarter is like completely online so all of our classes are through canvas so yeah i think it'll definitely help them for sure yeah i agree because for me going into my first quarter at davis my the introduction the introductory class for my major which is communication was an online class and they were like well you don't have to take it right away your first quarter because it could be sort of difficult but i was like oh well i want to take it because it's like the introductory course like i want to know what i'm going into so I took it and it was so hard because you had to be watching these lectures and doing the work like there was no professor that you would actually meet up with like everything was online so I think if there's students who are going into college that are gonna take these kinds of classes like this is the perfect little introduction to that do you think that um cutting your first you know year uh in university early will affect you know the rest of your university career for me i definitely think it will because i have plans or i had planned out to graduate in three years so i had set out like this whole plan for the next three years and like what classes i'm gonna take and all this stuff but now i'm just like kind of like confused i'm like well i don't know if i'm going back in the fall like i don't like i don't even know what to take next quarter because now i'm just like I don't even know like throughout quarantine I've been thinking that I want to double major or even like get a minor so I'm like oh like what I have no counselor that I can just go to her office and talk to so now I'm just like everything's thrown off and I'm just waiting to see what happens yeah like I um I had a lot of plans for this like spring quarter like especially like at the UCSD there's this thing called like sun god a sun god festival in April so obviously like I didn't we didn't get to I didn't get to experience that so and then also I like got this job as an orientation leader so like I was really excited to like kind of like interact with like these new people like we do zoom meetings and all this stuff but it's all like it's not the same so I was like hoping to like build relationships now like over this you know what I mean Mm -hmm. so um yeah it just like and especially like if we don't go back for the fall that's like obviously going to be a big impact too because I had a lot of plans for fall quarter as well. But I'm just like hoping for the best and that fall quarter is in person. But we'll see. Um, Both of you were in ASB here when you were seniors, Um, well, throughout your high school career. Do you guys have any, like if you were in this situation where these, this class is in terms of, you know, prom, grad night and graduation being canceled, um do you have you guys thought of any ways that you could supplement these events that are you know really important as it comes to you know seniors and stuff like that mm-hmm. that's like really hard i think like i'd have to like sit down and think about it for a while because it's hard to like accommodate everybody um but that's like a good question i don't i'm not sure like how they will i don't know what they could do to like be able to accommodate like everybody and like because you can't really replace those events entirely, but I mean, there's things you could do, but mm, I'm not really sure about that. Yeah, I agree with Samantha. I actually, I wasn't in ASB in high school, but like being Samantha's best friend, like <laughs> I kind of like was with her throughout all of this planning that went on with like 
big senior events like I kind of almost felt like I was in ASV just because I was always with Samantha but yeah I think that it's gonna be super hard to kind of make up for like the lost time and I also feel really bad for like their graduation ceremony because I feel like even if they do it next year whenever they're able to do it it's I don't think everyone will be able to participate because some people just won't be here anymore so I think that's really that's a tough one yeah because especially people that go into the service like you know yeah. once you know you graduate or once you're out of school i mean i don't know if if this is going to affect you know their their time to go to boot camp and stuff but you know i'm sure that as soon as everything's you know a little bit calmer they're gonna be chipped away to to boot camp and stuff like that um so do, do you, I, I was thinking of, you know, stuff that, you know, to get, to kind of put you guys in situations where like, would you rather finish your first year of university early because of COVID or your senior year early because of COVID? Uh, I would <laughs> give up my, my first year of college because <laughs> the, me and Santa talked about this once. We're like, would you rather give up the beginning of your, of your senior year or the ending? And then. I would much rather give up the beginning and have the ending because the May and June are like the best months probably because like that's when we went to grad night and we had a prom and then like graduation and everyone was like having like like parties about like oh my god like I'm going to this school like celebrations and all that kind of stuff so I definitely would rather give up my the ending of my first year because we have so many more years of college that you can basically be in college for as long as you want so <laughs> or it's like split into quarters it's like we're just kind of missing the spring quarter which is like the best quarter but like mm -hmm. it's okay there's gonna be three more spring quarters <laughs> yeah. one more if you want yeah i was i was at ivc for like seven years so <laughs> <laughs> and i'm not lying i'm you know <laughs> I, I liked ivc i like going to ivc um Let's see. Um, so, if if you could talk to because I I know you guys haven't really talked to your to your you know like I said your classmates from this year that are graduating this year because I talked to JP you know you guys know JP Chino's brother yeah and you know it's kind of surprising how like him and Ethan were really taking the situation like really chill like oh yeah we understand. Um, do you think you would be the same? Like, oh, you know, you know. <laughs> no. Do you think it's because they're guys? Do you think girls are a little bit more emotional that they would be like? I just think it's like prom, like I don't know. We like shop for dresses and like yeah, you know, yeah. ready I'm, to do our nails or like I don't know. I just had fun getting ready for prom. To be honest, yeah, like, I'm ready sure. for too. That was fun. Yeah, I'm sure like the guys also feel upset by it. They just like aren't showing it. But I know me and Samantha would be wrecks if that would have happened to us. <laughs> I think I would be crying. Oh yeah. I, I think I cried for them once. Because I was what? like, wow, I can't believe they're not gonna have prom. And I started crying. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean it's it is it is really sad, you know. Um I didn't go to prom or grad night. Cause I didn't want to, but you know, cause I wasn't a uh, your typical high school student. Um, I was one of those uh, sit in the back, talk to no one kind of kids. Um, I actually went to graduation because my mom kind of begged me to go. Um, I was a good student. Um, I actually could have could have graduated early, but I, I don't think I I didn't really think about it. I just because when I was in high school we had a uh, block scheduling so you would have four classes like for I think it was like an hour and a half close to two hours so since I went to summer school just because I wanted to go by my senior year I only needed like four classes my whole year so like my first semester I took two classes and then I had like a prep in the morning so I didn't have to go to school till like nine or ten and then a prep in the afternoon but I was a TA and the second semester was kind of the same so like I was like already done with high school so I didn't really want to go to graduation but she made me go but yeah like I was thinking of all these kids that are really like into high school the high, 
high school experience and you know being in their shoes it'd be like man yeah it's super sad that um they're not having graduation because after after i was in gra- my graduation you know i was like you know i'm glad i came because you know like you said a lot of kids that won't be here in the valley anymore they probably would never are never going to come back or they'll come back to see family and you know you'll never see them um yeah it's it's i would you know sometimes it gives me gives me chills to think about you know all these kids that not only here in Calexico, but everywhere that are you know missing out on this experience and and yeah it's it's super sad um but is there anything anything that you guys want to add that i didn't ask you or talk about your university experience your you know this whole COVID-19 experience um um well I would just want to say to like anyone who's going to college who like Monique like was kind of lost like oh my gosh how do I find roommates I think just reach out to anyone who's older than you who has experienced that for advice and if you don't have anyone well you can obviously ask me and Samantha I'm sure Santa would want to help, and I would too. I know there's probably a lot of students who go to UCSD, so you guys can reach out to your little orientation leader over here. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Um, I'd want to say, hmm. let's see. It's just like make the best of the time you're at home because, like, being home has made me realize like come like that. I, I don't know. Just like kind of. Oh, what is the word? You appreciate your family. <laughs> yeah, like appreciate time with your family and like you find like new hobbies too, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, because I mean, this is like odd time. So like there's probably not gonna be another time where you're gonna be like months in your house. Like it's like it sucks, but you just gotta like appreciate the time you have like to like, you know, work out or like cook or, you know what I mean? Um, but like for those who are transitioning to college, um, it might be like scarier for them because they didn't have like the ending of their senior year or like they're not probably not gonna have like orientation or like in-person orientation. Um, but I think you know, everything will be fine. Like there's resources for like every single student like on like their college campus. But yeah, hope everybody's safe and sound and we're gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah also lastly i want to say to appreciate the space in your house because yeah. if you live in a tiny <laughs> dorm it could be very stressful at times so really just appreciate all the space go outside in your backyard just lay on your bed and just appreciate your big bed because your dorm bed is not going to be as big probably <laughs> or as comfortable <laughs> <laughs> yeah would you say your dorm room is as big as your room right now um no smaller yeah. mine and it was three people in there so <laughs> the the room the triples in my my hall were pretty spacious like yeah. it was like this big square so there's just like a big like space in the middle so i had a lot of space i think it might have been the size of my room um but yeah i I loved my dorm. Had an ocean view. It was so nice. Fancy. That's, that's why I'm sad it ended because I had such a nice view. So next year you won't be in the same dorm room, right? No, I'm moving to like, I'm still going to be on campus since UCSD has like two years guaranteed, but it's like more apartment style. So there's less people and we have like a kitchen and like living room layout. So yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. All right, all right, ladies. Well, thank you um, for being on, um, and I really appreciate you guys sharing your story about you know your first year in university, and uh, fortunately, you know it, it ended a little bit soon. But you know, like you said, you're you're uh, appreciating the time at home with your families, with your big rooms, yeah, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and like like they said, um, if you guys are you know going away next year and and you know are struggling to um decide or or just like you know are not knowing what's gonna happen because of or who to talk to, you know, I'm sure they'll they'll be happy to talk to you and and share their experience a little bit more. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for being on again. 
um, Samantha has some puppies that she's selling if you guys want a puppy. <laughs> yes, seven baby puppies. They're six weeks today. Oh, no, last Saturday. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let her, let her know if you want a puppy. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks Peace. for having us. Three Don't hang three. up. Don't hang up yet. Okay. All right, guys, thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.